hello everyone welcome to my channel tech 3t so in this new video i'm going to share some information about graphic card with you so please subscribe to my channel and if you have any question then comment below and i will try my best to answer your question so let's start the video a graphic card looks like a smaller version of computer motherboard it is printed circuit board that has a processor ram and other components a graphics card is sometimes commonly referred as a graphics processing unit or GPU but in reality the GPU is just a component. So in fact GPU common in two major forms an integrated GPU and a discrete GPU. So an integrated GPU is built into the motherboard and cannot be upgraded or replaced. You will find this in laptop and inexpensive desktop PCs. The graphics typically have modest performance and don't perform well for tasks like games or professional graphic production. So second one is discrete GPU. Discrete GPU is mounted on a graphic card that slips into computer expansion slot on the motherboard. This kind of graphic card is replaceable so it can be upgraded. A newer graphic card or develop and helps keep the PC from becoming obsolete. Modern graphic cards are extremely sophisticated devices that in some ways behave like stand alone computers. They perform an enormous number of calculation and are typically the most sophisticated component in computer. Particularly high-end graphics are optimized for gaming and advanced graphic processing. Not only they are responsible for drawing ordinary 2D graphics such as window and documents but best graphics card can generate realistic high resolution 3D graphics in real time without needing the content to be pre-rendered. They are essential for graphic production such as photography, video production because they are able to multiply it and process an enormous number of pixels in real time. Increasingly, graphic cards are also capable for performing a technique known as ray, tra ray tracing. Ray tracing is a form of 3D graphic in which scenes are rendered by tracing the path of each light beam in a scene and accurately modi modeling its effect and material and texture in the image. Ray traced graphics are incredibly realistic and previously could be rendered in advance with copies. As graphic cards with ray tracing capabilities continue to drop in price, video games will increasingly rely on ray traced graphics to deliver cinema quality visuals rendered in real time. types of graphic cards virtually all graphic cards are developed by two rival band brands nvidia and amd no matter what kind of graphic card you purchase or find inside your pc it's almost certainly sold directly by one of these companies or by a third party company that has a license the technology That makes it easy to purchase graphic card because while there are a lot of companies selling graphic cards you can always compare with directly since they are all using the same underlying architecture. In other words, NVIDIA GeForce 2070 GPU will behave more or less the same no matter if you buy from ASUS or NVIDIA. AMD is a close competitor of NVIDIA and two companies sometimes leapfrog each other in top performance. But as general rule the best AMD card offers similar performance to the best NVIDIA cards. So application of graphic cards. Graphic professionals rely on high-end graphic card as well these days photo video and graphic production application rely on a graphic card not the computer GPU perform advanced image processing including computational photography which uses artificial intelligence and computer processor to achieve results that previously could only have been done in the lens when photos or videos were taken. 